January 31st, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, let's start with the extinction protocol tonight. Uh, they have a story beginning, what's distorting and twisting the planet's magnetic field? Uh, basically, the frenzied and disorganized spectrum patterns we've seen on the planet's magnetic sphere continues today with this current snapshot of a corkscrew effect. I believe that's from solar winds. But uh, something to look into. In Brazil, if they don't have enough problems right now, high winds topple a 25-story building under construction. Uh, they're not sure why it fell, but uh, apparently there are three trapped workers. And in Australia, Victoria bakes an unprecedented heat wave. Melbourne is preparing for a scorching day with the Weather Bureau forecasting the first day of 40 degrees Celsius weather for the year. It is expecting to be even hotter in the northwest with 42 degrees expected in Mildura and Swan Hill where many residents are continuing preparations for a peak in floodwaters. Like I said, if they, don't, they have flood and fire down there. Um, Here's a story whether or not it's been covering seismic anomalies north of New Zealand volcanic stress building. And uh, he's been covering it very well as far as uh, the volcanoes going on in New Zealand and the earthquakes and whatnot. Um, they do have a film on here, a video, Undersea Volcano Erupts Off of Tonga. Uh, it's a BBC News report saying about... Um, where we've having these great big earthquakes off of Tonga, everything's like, what's going on with Tonga? Well, there's a big volcano down there erupting, and uh, I guess it's about ready to break the surface. And those Russian fishermen that have been frozen in the Arctic um, since December 31st, uh, they finally got all those ships out of there and got those guys rescued. Um, the officials were saying they were in no danger. They had plenty of food and water and all that. Um, Unprecedented rainfalls transformed Greek islands into rivers. Now, I did believe I covered this story last night off the RSOE. A state of, of emergency was declared on Saturday afternoon in several towns on the island of Rhodes and Kos. The state emergency declaration follows severe flooding caused by heavy rainfall on Friday. And they have a video here and, uh, yeah, rivers of water down the streets literally sweeping things away. Oh, they got a story here, huge corona hole on sun turning towards earth. And again, the corona holes are what brings the solar winds to us and all those things that entail. And, uh, da -da -da -da. Be alert for auroras between February 2nd and 4th. That's when these solar winds are supposed to be hitting us from this great big coronal hole. A landscape, landslides and flooding reported as Wilma lashes New Zealand. Again, I reported on this yesterday. Wellington Tropical Cyclone Wilma lashed the top of New Zealand's early, the top of New Zealand early Saturday, bringing widespread flooding and landslides, which cut highways and power blackouts. The fire and the fire service in Auckland, the county's largest city, reported that more than 400 emergency calls in the 11 hours of, to dawn, including one after a cliffside house collapsed into a beach on YK Island. Um, yeah, that's the one where I reported on last night. Uh, they've got a Terrence McKenna story, and if you follow Terrence McKenna at all, Earth changes, time acceleration, ex time acceleration and collapse. Um, some pretty interesting off-the-wall stuff there, if you're familiar with Terrence at all. And then finally, on um, Extinction Protocol, thousands of dead fish found in Lake Erie. Uh, check it out, Detroit. Officials say cold weather and a fish virus likely are to blame for thousands of dead gizzard shad found recently in Lake Erie and St. Clair, the St. Clair River and the Detroit River. Uh, the Detroit Free Press and the Detroit News reported that the, that the weather and viral hemorrhage septicema, or BHS, are, sus are suspected in the fish deaths. And of course the story goes on. Uh, let's go over to Earth Changes or Scott.net. Uh, they don't have a lot going on right now. Australia floodwaters arrive at Swan Hill. 
of the floodwaters moving through northwest Victoria are starting to arrive at Swan Hill. Uh, the State of Emergency Service has moved its incident control center to Swan Hill and says the floodwaters started to reach the city late yesterday. And they're expecting the levees to hold and protect them from any seriously flooding. They've got a story here. Europe, Europe's big freeze brings flocks of rare birds to Britain. Um, the RSPB says pe people taking part in the world's biggest wildlife survey should look out for rare visitors in gardens and parks. The deep winter freeze across northern Europe and Russia has driven many exotic and unusual birds into Britain's back gardens on a weekend when more than half a million people are taking part in the world's biggest wildlife survey. So all my friends and subscribers in Britain, uh, be on the lookouts for some really cool birds. And that's all they've got updated for today on Scott.net. Now on um, the RSOE, back up here actually. Alright. Of course they've got the heat wave in Australia. Um, they have a flash flood in Bolivia, South America. Apparently torrential rains um, swept a uh, truck and a bus off a road and several people are dead and, and a few still are missing. Uh, they rescued like 13 people and uh, they're having some heavy rains down in Bolivia. In the state of Arizona, in Bettyville, uh, apparently they had a massive landslide. One mobile home got crushed, uh, and the boulder stopped within feet of several different houses. Um, the officials are talking about uh, the big freeze and the ice build up on the boulders, and then a quick thaw popped them loose, and they all came rolling down the hill at once. Uh, apparently there's a creek that's blocked by this big boulder, and they are pumping water around it until they can figure out how to move the thing. So uh, Australia, or I mean, uh, Arizona's having some landslides. That's crazy. Da, da, da. Cold wave in Canada, of course, setting us up for the big storm. We're supposed to happen tomorrow night here in the United States. Uh, we're expecting around six inches or so here in Des Moines. Uh, I think it's going to be far worse south of us. But uh, the U.S. is definitely in for a nice winter storm. Uh, tornadoes in the south, blizzards in the north. You know how it goes. Uh, what else? Uh, and flash floods in Malaysia. Apparently they're having torrential rains, flash floods, the works, crop damage. That is about it for today as far as the uh, climate change goes. Uh, no major big quakes or anything else to, to report on. Of course we have all those different things ongoing. Uh, they've got a tropical storm, Yazzie, in the Pacific South Ocean. And for some reason, they've taken off their volcano activity report. Uh, apparently the site they were using shut down and they're off looking for their own. Uh, so I definitely stay on top of the volcanoes and stuff. Uh, like I said before, that's about it for today. And uh, if I missed anything, please let me know. Until tomorrow, enjoy it while you can. Thanks, everybody.